the Wednesday night edition of In Your Pants. In Your Pants? With, uh, my name's Jeff Peterson. Uh, my first guest tonight is a, a young rising star in the stand-up comedy circuit. He's, uh... Yeah, he's sensational, this kid. He's, uh, he, uh, on September the 23rd, he's going to be at the Casino Rama in Ontario, Canada. Uh, and then on October the 16th and 17th, he's at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Please welcome the rising young star of American comedy, Mr. Don Rickles. <laughs> Enough. Don't get, don't get him. He'll, he'll get uh, ideas if you start with that. That was, that was very kind of you, but it should have gone longer. No, thank you very much. I, I'm very, I'm very proud of that. You know, as we, as we get older in this business, uh, you're, you're very grateful that the good Lord gives you a chance to perform. And when I see you folks respond, uh, you see us. You know, it, it's never old. It's like what's in here. So don't ever think you're old. <laughs> See, I thought for once you were going to be sincere there. I thought you were going to. I thought it was. Uh, it was going to be a heartfelt moment, and then people would be all excited about Why it. And then you, you went. You undercut it again. Why are you hollering? What are you hollering about? I'm right here. I'm you know, that reminds me. That reminds me. It has nothing to do with anything. You know, you, 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 you young people. You know, Broadway. You know, you ever see the Broadway actors? And I love Broadway. And that's the one thing in my life. I don't know about you, what? but I never did Broadway. And I want. I did off Broadway, but never did Broadway proper. I said, gee, if I got a shot on Broadway before I die, that would be great. And I've had a few opportunities, but you know, it means work. And so. Uh, <laughs> And so Broadway was always the thing. But if you ever meet a Broadway actor, and you meet them socially, you go, how are you, Tom? I'm pretty good, Don. How are you? Now you meet them the night before the show goes on. Ah, oh, are you excited about the show? I'm fine, Don. How's the family? Are you okay? And then they go on stage. Broadway, my mother knows my dog is dead. Broadway. Broadway. And they talk like this all the time, you know? So that was the story in which you people have no idea what the hell I was talking about. That's pretty good, though. Hey, uh, that's, uh... What a night! What a night! You don't have this excitement too often, and when you get to my age, this goes up. Anyway. Yeah. All right, here's a hundred for you for the broad, and two hundred right, for yeah. me. Does those money bits? He's, he's a lonely guy. He's a lonely. Yeah, by the way, may I, may I drop this in? But, and, I, and I really mean this one. Uh, this wonderful man, uh, his lovely wife, uh, you're going to have a baby. We are, yeah, yeah. We're and, uh, yeah. Got, got, you, you, have, you have one child? Yeah, I've got a nine-year-old boy and I've got another one coming. No, yeah. another nine-year-old boy. I mean, <laughs> they, uh, isn't he great? Dynamite. Everything he yeah. says, dynamite. Yeah, I see. I, sometimes when you do that, I just don't think you're being sincere. I think you're being, I think you're being sincere. That's a it, wild guess. No, you're right. You're right. I don't know why you do that. I'm all because I don't like you. <laughs> see, I, I never liked you. I never liked you. I respect you, but I don't like you. I see. I don't even think you respect me. I think. No, you're... that's not true. Okay. I don't respect you because I'm so pissed off that you skyrocketed. I can't believe it. <laughs> When I met him, he was in Scotland going, nah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was quite yeah, a weekend. I'm sure you're laughing. You like that one. You don't see the host laughing when no, I do. No, you know? no, no. Usually they go off like a, like a lot of them. Oh, that son of a bee. No, no, no. no I, anything with sheep, I'm usually interested. <laughs> I won't go there. Yeah. You've been over there. You've been over to Scotland. Have you been over there? No, I never have. We really? like to go to places where we can have fun. Oh, see? 
I know. I, I, I've been over to England. I've been in England. Maybe. Well, I look and I go, Mary, Daddy's home. Daddy's home, Mary. Want to take a pop at it, Mary? How about a pop? You know, they don't even know what that is, you know? Uh, you know what I love? This guy in the front, guy, the little heavy set guy, the guy with my, and he's sitting there like, a, what's going on, Rose? <laughs> sit back. You're a heavy guy. Sit back. Because a couple of minutes, you'll, the, the guy next to you is going to go. <laughs> uh, God bless you. Is that your dad? Is that your dad? Is that your dad? God bless you, dad. I was only kidding. Dad! The old man, see, you can always tell when they get old because the mouth can't close. <laughs> you can't do that, dad. You can't do that, no. My, I, hey, I'm 84, but I close the, Dad, you got to keep the mouth closed. Otherwise, they, they come with a hook and you're in a box like this. <laughs> Keep the mouth closed, they'll never know. But as soon as you do this... That's when the guy goes, get the sheet, Lou, get the sheet. No, 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 Wait a minute, no, I'm no, a no, funny no. son of a bitch. No, no. <laughs> Don, can I just, just for a second, excuse me. CBS in no way endorses the music. <laughs> Mr. Don Rickles. Ah, they ought to because you're going in the dumper without it. Oh, you know, you are a gracious, wonderful man. We, we got to know each other through Peter LaSalle. Peter, you're, the lovely Peter LaSalle. He produces not, this show. Yeah, he's, well, he's, uh, he's in, he's in the uh, wonderful control room, and this is what he does. <laughs> but he's a charming guy, and he takes care of you. And he was with uh, Johnny Carson, who... Uh, you, did you know Johnny? No, I never met Johnny. He was... Uh, rest his yeah. soul, you young people and the oldest, too. He was a magnificent host, as well as this gentleman is. And, and Johnny was... Uh, And made it, made it possible for guys like my friend Greg to, to be that successful. Why do you always call me Greg? My name's Craig. You call me Greg all the time. You know, you know me for years. You know me for, you know, I've known you for like seven years now. You, you still call me Greg. Why do you call me Greg? Because it's not going to change Frank. your career. Is it going to change it? Yeah. What, you're going to have more people in this closet? What are you kidding? <laughs> the, room, the room seats two, two, 200 maybe and one against the wall on a hook. And he's worried. <laughs> He's worried. Is his name Craig or Krug? Who cares? <laughs> Get up in the morning and say, bah. <laughs> when, the, when does the dummy talk? Call me a hockey puck. Yeah. Just once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rickles, who's the dummy now? <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm still as old, Don. Uh, how, do, how do you challenge a toy? <laughs> in your pants. <laughs> what did he say? He said, in your pants. In he your says pants. It all the time. No. God bless you. Yeah. I want his name and I want him dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's the trouble. He's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's just yep. that. Yeah. We have to take a break now. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. get back to Wesson. When you're through smelling your hand, we'll continue. Yeah. I'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my friend Don Rickles. Now, I say he, he is my friend. I know he pretends like he's not my friend. No, but we, we are. We, we are. We're friends. Now, you... Kind of. You, uh... <laughs> when did we meet? We met when I first started this show, don't we? Yeah, well, uh, uh, Peter LaSalle, again, Peter, who's a, an old friend and a good friend. He's not yeah. old. He's good. Well, hey, he's yeah, pretty he old. He's yeah, old. He's yeah. Old. <laughs> you see him walking around like... <laughs> 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 Oh, what a night. What a night. <laughs> no, but uh, God bless. And, and Peter was the one that introduced us. And uh, he told me about you coming here. And uh, it was very exciting. And, and you made a way for yourself. Because the com competition, you know, with, with all the, the people uh, on television today. And it's great that you created your own identity, which is so important. I, 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 I think the lack of money helped. I think what happened was... Uh, uh, you don't have an orchestra. You don't have a lot of things. But you have a show that's weak, and it's going. Yeah. <laughs> and I think... <laughs> I think that's, I think that's the charm. I yeah, think that people are not threatened. Yeah, they're not threatened by talent. But you or... know what you have? That's... 
You know, you know what you have, which is your opening is so great when you hit the 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 uh, camera and you do America, blah blah blah, yeah. and you do it with this uh, wonderful dummy pain in the ass over there. <laughs> And you, and you know, and you, and you do all that stuff, and you do all that stuff. That's original, and that's great. That's what makes you so successful, in my opinion. Well, really. I think what is is that what happens. The reason I hit the camera is because to get it going. <laughs> what a night! Yeah, what a night. <laughs> Tell me about doing the Orleans in Vegas. I love the Orleans. Five, six. Oh, oh anyway. Uh, I'm doing the stand-up again. I see that's a great room there in that Orleans there in Vegas. It is. Uh, yeah. I, I, you know, it's 50 years. God bless. 50 years in Las Vegas, and uh, I, I started in lounges, and, and now in the Orleans Hotel, which is a great room for comedy. Yeah, it really no, it is. is yeah. But people say, you know, com comedy. We people in comedy. Uh, uh, I, I tell you very honestly. You know, a singer comes out there, some like Sinatra, got lucky. But anyway, uh, <laughs> what man on earth could say that? By the way. It's, it's only a joke, Frank. <laughs> what can he do to me? <laughs> but, you know, I always said, my mother, rest of always said to me, Don, you're out there, we sell ourselves. We have nothing. We're, we're like bare naked. We come up if you like us. And it's personality. You know, so many times you hear a guy say, oh, that joke was funny. But if you don't like his personality, you get a little uptight. And so we have to sell ourselves. Uh, this wonderful gentleman, Craig, and I, every night, we sell ourselves wherever we work. And, and you get, even when you walk, go to dinner, like my wife says, well, my wife, you know, 45 years married, and you know her big comment is, is that about it? <laughs> I've heard a say. I've heard a say. I've heard a say. No, because as Craig knows with his lovely wife, we're always performing. When you meet people, you can't say, how are you, Don? I would like to say, I feel lousy. Leave me alone. <laughs> we can't do that. You've done that to me. Wait a minute. What the hell are you talking about? Well, You've done well, that to me. Well, with you, I meant it. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, no, not seriously. But uh, we're, always, we're always trying to sell ourselves. And my wife's, uh, I don't know how about your missus is, but in 45 years, I, that's why I love her, I married a Valium, you know. I go into, I, I go into a, a restaurant and I'll say, Don, how are you? I go, what do you say, sweetheart? How are you? And she's like, will you stop it? Just stop it. <laughs> Talk like a person. I said, if I would, you wouldn't have a dime of jewelry. Yeah, well, let's do that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we're out of time, though. We're out of time? Out of time. Okay. Hey, no, oh, no, no. I mean, try and uh, leave a little more, you know, a little bit of a hug after you're done. Oh, I hey, see. No. I, I see. Hey, this has been a wonderful night for me. I'm going back tomorrow to the States. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> And I wish you the very best. I, I wish you the and best. And with your as well. new child, may God be good to you uh, and your I lovely wife. You. I mean it from my heart. You're indeed a gentleman and a great deal of class. And God you, my friend, really, and, and Maestro are, are a legend, and it's, a, it's just a, a joy to know you. Don